So here we are, April, April the 23rd, England Day, or St George's Day as some call it. I never do, otherwise you get the experts that come in. Oh, he wasn't even English, he was a Greek soldier. So uh, I'll just prefer to call it England Day, because at the end of the day, it's about our culture, our traditions, and our identity. It's not so much about the religion. Looking around here, Liverpool Street Station, and the whole journey up, I've not seen so much as a flag. I've seen one old boy on the on the train platform here with a red rose in his lapel. Other than that, I've not seen a flag. The only person who even wearing a badge is me, and, I, and I've had a couple of dirty looks off people on the, on the train up for wearing it. And looking out the window on the train up here, the only flags I see flying out, out of uh, houses or lampposts was uh, the Palestinian one. So I'm going to have a scoot around up in London today and hopefully uh, find something, or at least a few people, celebrating our national day. But there's nothing here. You'd think even they could put like a, a just a bunting up or anything, but there's nothing. Even over the back there where the weather spoons is, there's nothing whatsoever there. Awful. Monument station and an old English white dragon done in tiles on the wall here. The Nor Market in the city of London. There's meant to be festivities here and Morris dancers and that there's a couple of blokes wearing costumes up there but no Morris dancers no buntings or nothing and uh, not even a flag up Of the square. There's a few people dodging about with flags down here. There was a few at Charing Cross Station when we just come up there. But look at the police overkill here as well. No, I can't at the moment because the bus is there. But there's a whole, uh, the whole road here is full up of police right vans. And look at the sign there, CCTV in operation, as if we didn't know, eh? Oh, there was no old back for us, were they? Nah. Nah, the old batons would be out straight away, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, I missed the car and ain't put a single flag, a bunt in or nothing up here. Seems the only thing he's uh, put around Trafalgar Square is the tactical support group. Plenty of them. Is the green old Churchill statue over there again just surrounded by police everywhere helicopter now all the cavalry are here now aren't they all that thing they're not just saying they're not sitting in vans up the road or nothing are they video that summarises England in one caption.
goes all the way back. So you can cut the flowers in there, I reckon. There you go, everyone said he was dead, but here he is, Lionel Blair, sweeping up all the shit. Go on, Lionel, give us a song. Overkill though, isn't it? All these old built. So we've got all the territorials, all down here, the mounted police, all them there. Their vans go all the way up there, and then there's about another 20 vans over there. All of them have got right gear on. Disgusting, isn't it? Absolutely disgusting. So the media's full of stories of hooligans and far-right thugs attacking the police yesterday. It's, well, it's widely circulated footage showing a, a brief altercation, which much is the same as what happened on Remembrance Day. It follows this pattern where the police, for no apparent reason other than agitation, block a pathway, stopping people moving on. These people then get bottled up, with those behind them pushing forward, which in turn propels them up to the coppers lines who then react by drawing truncheons and start whacking people this really is no need for this and i don't believe it's done for any reason other than to cause aggro i sat out for a day in london trying to film the capital on april 23rd our national day and other than that rally at whitehall i found absolutely nothing and even at that rally i found it being more a celebration of britain than actually england I really don't think that people understand there's a difference, I really don't. The police, or the state, clearly hate any show of patriotism. It was actually shocking how bad and hostile they were to people there yesterday. And let's get it right, they were basically middle-aged couples. 
all these far right and football hooligans, I certainly never see any. These people in power, they hate us. They truly do. They despise everything about us. <laughs>